Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes Chuck here. We have a list of nine properties today. We've got the buyer class tonight, so it should be a full house here. And uh, I've got all new slides. I, I made a couple changes last month, and then this month is kind of a complete overhaul. So that'll be a good treat for whoever's coming. Uh, the next one will probably happen sometime in March. I'm not sure, I'm actually away in March, but uh, we'll do something. So uh, the intention with Daily Homes is to give you stuff that you may not know just from looking at the listing. Uh, a lot of the floor plans we've seen already, so we can give you some thoughts about those that don't always come through in pictures. And so there's some neat small things about today's episode that uh, that's good to know. So let's get started. Now 1419 Costigan, it's the Ambassador Building. Uh, condo fees are 418, you've got to pay your heat and hydro and cable on top of that. Uh, 379 is the price, includes two parking spaces. One on the first floor, I think it's sold conditional at 370 something. So first floor, it tends to get a downgrade on price, but they have a patio and it also backs onto green space or faces green space versus this one facing the parking lot. So I do think it's comparable. Same floor plan. I can't stand this floor plan because this family room is long and narrow and it's very difficult. They did a pretty good job with putting a couch here, but it's very difficult to arrange furniture. The kitchen looks like it's pushed about three or four feet uh, you know, into that space. For, and then there's a big wide area in the kitchen that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's probably because of these structural members right here. The other thing that interferes with it is you've got this mechanical room right here. So it's even hard to kind of do a dining table. Look how close that chair is to the uh, to the closet door. It just, it's awkward. I, I don't like the way this one lays out. That gives you another shot at it too. There's a huge gap here. And then this room is too tight. Anyhow, nice finishes inside, even better than the one on the first floor. I'm not sure if it's in this building or the other building. I still make fun of the fact that a an agent called this building luxurious and when you look at this this kind of looks like a, a prison exercise room to me but the building's not bad and I, what I like is that it's surrounded by residential housing versus being in a concrete jungle or having a lot of buildings nearby I mean you've got three of them in this set and beyond that it's pretty much all two-story and green space all around you so the one you won't see, and I have a good friend who lives at 6020 Dairy, is, is about $100 fee per month for like road maintenance and garbage removal. So the, the interesting thing is these units tend to sell for the same amount as the exact same floor plans that Madame built on normal streets where you don't have any fees. So $100 a month is like buying this one for $20,000 more. So I look at this as... At 6020 Dairy, I'm actually paying 429 instead of 409 for something like this, but people tend to pay. They don't think of $100 a month in the context of how much could that add to my purchase price if it was a mortgage amount. So it's a nice looking home. It's presented well. I know they're gonna sell it. And even at 429, the arguments there for good versions of these townhouses, they're starting to become regularly in the 420 to 430 range. I don't know what it is with taking offers on Sunday night, but that seems to be uh, what's going on here on Barclay. I like this one a lot, 449. 1130 square feet plus a finished basement. I like anytime you have open space to keep the flooring the same. I find sometimes when there's tile here, it tends to break the space up. Uh, they have set this up like there, there is space for a small dining table plus a family room. Uh, it looks like they've capped the stairs off, wainscoting, or pardon me, a beadboard in the uh, the powder room. It's it's done pretty well, you know. Like they've they've done a good job on this one. The finished basement looks like they've they've uh, finished it quite well. It now they screwed up the bathrooms here. If you go over, and it's not far from a couple parks too, but if you look over here, it says two washrooms. So there's a four piece upstairs, which is a shower, tub, sink, and toilet. Two piece is just sink and toilet, that's a powder room. And then there is a three piece in the basement. So uh, that is a very good thing to have the second full bathroom. If one person's showering, the other person can shower as well downstairs. So that's a good thing. Everything in here leads me to believe that they've priced it well and there's a chance they might even sell for more. It's a good one. It's one of my favorites of today.
What I like about this one on Laurier is, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the yellow door, but it's not hard to change, but it's a five level back split. So you have some stairs up, some stairs down, some stairs down, some stairs down. They're huge, they're really big spaces. And they actually work really well for investment properties. They also work well for families with older children or multifamily kind of dwelling because you can fit people in so many different areas. Um, the bathrooms are on two different levels. They're both, there's two full bathrooms in this one. Uh, yeah, it just, it, I don't know what that room is. Like, I don't know, it looks like, is that, Remember that Chuck Norris thing, the the one where he's, he, the pulleys, I wonder if that's what that is. Um, and your yard isn't huge. I mean, Laurier can be a bit of a busier street, but I like the double garage and I like how much space there is in this home. It's deceiving how, it's really big. I think this one on Bradley Terrace is really priced well. Uh, pretty sure they're taking offers on this one on Sunday as well. For, for clients that are looking in Old Milton, but they like the newer home stuff, so they like ensuite bathrooms and, and, and so on. These sundial homes can be a really good option. So Bradley Terrace, Deacon, uh, Gordon Heights, Zimmerman on the other side, you've got uh, Easterbrook, you've got Holdsworth, uh, all, all those streets kind of around Kennedy Circle. They've got really nice lots, like we're talking 110 feet deep, and, and you can see how much more you're getting here. And that and the nice thing about this is all the other Madame homes in this area are 80 or 85 feet. Now, remember, your neighbor has a 100 or 110 foot lot as well, so you actually have about 40 feet extra of privacy that you're not gonna find with the Madame homes, and that can be a very good thing. So I like this one if it's, I mean, finished basement, 3,000 square feet of living space. So I would guess you're probably, it's, I don't know the model. I think it's about maybe 2,000, 2,100 square feet. And then a, uh, a finished basement, I think it's one with just one uh, main room on the main floor, but it's hard to tell from the angle. Anyway, I think that this one is priced really well. I, and it's a great neighborhood. The schools are good. Uh, you could walk to Starbucks and to 24 hour Metro as well. So the last one is Cunningham Court, 1.385. You're on nine acres and they've used, a lot of the luxury homes use uh, total finished living space, which is different than upstairs plus basement. We've talked like a home like this might be valued at 150 a square foot upstairs, maybe 30, 40, 50 a square foot in the basement. So it's not equivalent value when, when you're talking about how much it's worth. Uh, it's uh, Cunningham Court to have nine acres on Cunningham is, is quite good. Uh, you're in the Brookville Public School uh, School District, so you're going to get some really nice small class sizes, uh, great reputation for that school, and it's in pretty good shape. So for the size of the home uh, plus size of the land, I think they're not too far off on this one. And I love how they did that's your lot right there. I think that's really, that's top shelf stuff right there. I like it. So that's the list. Actually, as a special bonus on Cunningham, I noticed in the description, another little thing is that they're including, including the snowblower, lawnmower, all that kind of stuff. That, that can add up to twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 worth of equipment. They're including it in. Oftentimes in, in country deals, we find that that becomes one of those negotiating points too. So Anyway, hope you enjoyed the list and have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow with more Milton Daily Homes. And for the people coming to the buyer class tonight, you will be impressed. Have a great day.